Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic. So, I guess if you got to listen to this, then it got uploaded. Otherwise, it's just, um, I guess, for my own recording. Um, maybe I'll go back and listen to it and get some stuff from it. I, I was sitting here and uh, communing with the Most High. And if you are new, um, I just get on my channel sometimes and just chit-chat. I, I might come across really, really religious, but I'm not. But I really do believe in spirituality. I'm very spiritual, and I do use living language. And I come, my roots come from um, the he he Hebraic um, root in the earth. And um, anyway, uh, if, if, if that's not something that you're looking for on this channel, this is where we'll depart. Okay. Anyway, and those of you who are returning, welcome back. Uh, you know, first of all, it's it's getting kind of late for me, so just bear with me because um, I told the divine if he wanted me to to talk about this, that he'd have to fill my mouth because this is as um, deep a prophecy to me as it would relate to Mary getting pregnant by the Holy Spirit, okay, <laughs> um, something that profound, and actually, uh, you know, if the divine, you know, I guess wants to, to make somebody pregnant, then I guess he could do that, and, and that can, obviously, people get pregnant with all kinds of things, uh, but really, that that's a kind of, um, I'm, I'm really trying to be discreet at what I say, because I, I've learned that um, the divine will often speak something to you and I. And we can get it in our mind that it's going to turn out this way or that way or something, you know. And it will turn out exactly the way he said. But, you know, I've learned to just allow him to unfold it, okay. Uh, at the same time, it was a very direct word what he stated to me. And I, I, I may not, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to say exactly what he said. But if, anyway, it's something... It's something that huge, though, that would be, like, just so over the top. Uh, you know, actually, we did a reading, uh, and today I did a reading. I don't know if I unlocked that video or not, but there, there was something that came out. Yeah, I think it was on one of the, the general morning readings. Is the card that came out stated that something was beautiful, but it was, like, over the top. A miracle, something that's like a huge wonder, something like that came out. And uh, what he spoke to me, it hit me it, it, just uh, huge. You know, it, it, you know, I don't know. I, I just, um, <laughs> I'm beside myself because not long ago, Talking about being pregnant with things and just when we are conceived of the word from the divine speaking to us, it is huge. I actually got on here not too long ago and was stated how, you know, I really miss going to the park and walking and stuff, so I put weight on. And I was actually walking through my house, you know, I tried to do a little bit what I can and, uh, <laughs> and I was walking through my house, just spending some time with the divine walking and, um, for some reason, I, I my hand went across my belly, and it, but it, it was like when I was touching my stomach, it, it was as if in my mind I was, uh, I don't know, for some reason pregnancy just came to my mind, okay? It was really strange. It was just really strange, okay? <laughs> Um, but uh, like I said, the divine speaks some things and we get pregnant with all kinds of things and it, it, it'll manifest in so many different ways, but what it was just really profound. Okay. And, um, I even went into the mirror and looked at myself and as if I was looking at myself being pregnant. Okay. So something spiritually was conceived in me that day. And he reminded me of that today and spoke some more stuff. And I sat here and I said, well, you're going to have to confirm what you just said to me. And literally, I, I mean, just as, cause he always does. He always shows up. He speaks. He don't lie. And we do know his voice, even if it's just so 
far out there. Uh, you know, <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time you've ever told me something really far out there and then walk me through the thing and say, see, I told you so, or something like that is exactly um, what's taking place. And literally... Uh, I had sat down tonight and made up another little deck, and I put some scriptures and stuff um, with the mixture of some other things within this deck that I made. And um, he literally gave me a profound word through what I made up, and I took the Hebrew dictionary deck that I made, and that went directly with the other little deck that I sit down with this evening and wrote a bond and then I took this the the uh tarot and did the same thing and I said okay what well, I'm gonna open scripture because you know it's almost like uh you know when something huge was fixing to happen and uh Elohim came to Abraham and it was actually um you know it was a big deal when he was saying well you know you're gonna go into Sodom and Gomorrah and destroy that land but are you gonna destroy the land if you can find 45 people in there and he kept talking him down well let me ask you again will you do it for 30 or whatever it was and got all the way down like five people that's kind of how i was feeling through this process and i literally opened my scripture and i had a page that was um i guess folded okay and it literally took me to a portion of scripture that I've actually shared on the channel before. And it uh, it, it was a scripture talking about, Sing, O barren, that thou didst not bear, and break forth into singing, and cry aloud, that thou didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith Jehovah. And that was just, that. that's the, the just a couple of, because of the way that my uh, page was folded, just a couple, the, the first couple of verses are showing now that chapter. And then right over on the other side of that, where it was folded several, I guess about two pages of that was folded together. And it took me over to another chapter. And it was talking about nursing mothers. I flipped over the page again. I was just like, no, this is just this is too much. And I just flipped over the page again. And it it, it uh, went over to... Um, uh, I know, When I flipped over the page, I noticed that I had a piece of paper hanging out of my scripture that I had the sun, the wheel, the strength card, the temperance, the chariot, and the pentacle, which would be a conception. And every one of these is, are the cards that I use out of the deck for yeses. And it was yes, 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 yes. And the sun also goes back to a conception. And the will is the divine moving a thing. And to give strength. And you know, talking about Abraham. It, 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 the, the Empress card was one of the cards that came out in the tarot that I used. And she's pregnant. And that picture is somebody who uh, is older. And, you know, if you look at the Emperor and the Empress, they're older. He's like gray-headed. It's like exactly uh, um, as what Abraham received when he said Sarah was going to conceive, it, they were like in their 90s. <laughs> it was that, that, that kind of energy of the, of the thing that the divine was speaking to me. Okay. And um, <laughs> all, all this yes was here to the thing that he spoke to me. And I went over to Isaiah because I remember where that um, scripture was speaking about... Um, him giving a sign to behold that a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which is God with us. Now, I've shared on this channel before uh, that a few years ago that the divine stated that we were in the time of Elijah all over again. And when Elijah was in the earth, there was all, he did all kinds of miracles. Okay. And uh, this, this this kind of stuff that the divine was speaking to me uh, tonight. So I uh, 
took after I went over here, I took the scripture and I opened it and it went to the very first chapter in Matthew. <laughs> you couldn't make it up if you wanted to and I got too much proof on my channel that the divine speaks and he shows a thing. Okay? Um, and he would literally speak it tonight. And it literally went to the very first chapter um, where it was the divine speaking to Joseph uh, because, you know, Mary had gotten, you know, pregnant and it looked bad and it said he was going to put her away secretly and just, you know, because of what that's taken place and uh, before they had even come together and she was found to be pregnant and, and uh, so it said that uh, Joseph, her husband, being a, a just man, was willing to not make a public example out of her. and He was going to just put her away privately. But while he thought about that, it was the uh, scripture stated that the angel of Jehovah had appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, you know, son of David, fear not. Don't take unto, uh, it says, uh, fear not to take unto thee Miriam, uh, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And so something really off the wall, literally the divine had to go um, <laughs> and say, look, I I'm the one doing this thing. Okay, and so don't don't be putting her away because this, this is a work from my hand. And these are the days of Elijah. And you talk about miracles and people going, well, God would never do that. It, 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 we literally find all this stuff in scripture and it really aggravates me that, it, you know, and I hate to really say anything about the church, but, you know, the, the divine really gets on to, to the people. Okay, in this book. And we're really seeing it uh just unfold before our eyes things that you would think the religious folk would would go yeah that's god and they don't they're the first one that are like the pharisees and the sadducees would say god would never do that okay <laughs> and god's ways are not our ways okay it's just not and i, I just wanted to, even for my own record it, look if you're in some kind of a situation uh and whatever and the divine drop a word in your heart that just seems so off the wall but you just know that you know that you know uh you better believe the most high he can create out of nothing at all for you and i it's just a matter of time he's just looking for somebody to believe him Okay, when he spoke to Abraham, I think it was like 10 years later, he finally got, they got pregnant with Isaac. But because they, uh, you know, our problem is being patient with the thing that the divine says, look, when I say it, I mean it. And I'm going to test you through the process of this time for this thing to happen. And uh, <laughs> here come Sarah and go, look, man, I'm getting old now, and this word ain't here. You know, take my concubine and have a baby with her. And it caused a big mess, okay? Because we don't just sit there and have patience on a thing, okay? Um, and so if this word helps anybody, uh, the divine can allow you to conceive out of nothing at all. And uh, so this thing that is so huge... Um, I just want to share with y'all for just even for your own encouragement on some things. We're all being tested. I actually had a, a homemade deck of cards when I was living at my old apartment and um, the divine had me ride on it. This is only a test and it is. And it's out of the emergency broadcasting system because once it is broadcasted about your test, it's going to be so huge and everybody's going to stand there with their mouth. Uh, uh, you know, I, <laughs> they're just going to be in awe. They are. If you and I do the right thing and be patient, then the divine will bring everybody up because he wants to give everybody all these yes, 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 yeses. He wants to bless us. Okay, he wants us to thrive, even in the midst of nothing at all. I, I, anyway, <laughs> this was just huge, and I just want to share it, like I said. Um, <laughs> I love it. I love the divine. Um, he is a deliverer, and uh, when this baby comes, and... It, 
this thing takes place, it's for salvation's sake. Because even all that scripture that he gave, you know, uh, was for salvation for the people. And actually, I've read scripture out of the Old Testament stating that uh, he brings he brings uh, saviors, plural is what it stated in the living language, plural. He said um, that what, what Solomon stated, that every, there's nothing new under the sun. So once, what once was, will come again. Okay, through the ages, even though he's he's a never changing a God, he's always creating change, and he does also the same thing many different ways. Okay, we'll never be able to figure out the most time. We just gotta trust what we hear. Okay, so if I do get pregnant, <laughs> I'm gonna I mean I'm, I'm gonna be fifty years old. All right, <laughs> but I'm just I just used all this because this is this, this is what he brought out through the word that he actually put in me he's already put the conception in me okay uh how he wants to play that out i mean th that's up to him i don't put nothing past the most high and so anyway <laughs> just a matter of time and uh people will know that they know that they know that there's absolutely no freaking way that that could have ever happened by anybody's hand but by the most high who inhabits eternity and so let that encourage you if you if your back's literally up against the wall and you've been walking the thing out and you've been believing and saying well where are you i heard you back here and here it is five ten years later it's coming it's coming your isaac is coming okay and um, you can rejoice just by my encouragement of, of uh, my own life, even for the last three years on this channel, the miraculous things that he has done and, and performed. And um, I bless you all <laughs> by sharing that, hopefully. Until next time, shalom.